Today we will be reviewing the Duke Duke Duke. The Babadook, directed by Jed Burkett, starring Essie Davis and Noah Wiseman, is the little boy in the movie. This is an independent horror film that came out last year. I didn't get to see it till this year because it never ever came in, in the movie theaters. It was only on video on demand, I guess, and I decided to wait until it came out on Blu-ray. I've heard so much about this movie. <laughs> this has got to be one of the scariest movies I've seen in a long time. This is this is scarier than It Follows. It made my hair stand on its end. Well, at least it, that's what it felt like. And I love it when movies make, make me feel like my hair is standing on its end. Essie Davis plays Amelia. She is a single mother who lost her husband in a car accident while she was giving birth or as her husband's driving her to the hospital, I think. So now her little boy is six years old, I believe, maybe seven, and he, he believes that there are monsters coming to get him, and he's worried of the possibility of, his, of losing his, his mother since he doesn't have a father, and so he makes these weapons, he makes a little catapult that he can wear on his back, that throws, I think it's like a croquet ball or a ball that you used to play cricket with maybe and he also makes a crossbow <laughs> damn this kid <laughs> is very troubled <laughs> so Amelia and Samuel find this book called Mr. Babadook it's a children's book a papa book the mother reads the book to the boy and the boy gets scared out of his mind by this book. This is, this has some very disturbing imagery in the book, and no wonder the kid gets so scared. <laughs> then throughout the movie, there's this evil force haunting them. You see a cloak and a hat, just like in the book, The Babadook. And you hear this voice that is very low saying, Babadook, Duke, Duke, Duke. And I love this movie. This is such an amazing horror film. Oh, wow. Tim Purcell plays the Babadook in the movie, and he's really good. Essie Davis is fantastic as the mother. The boy, I can understand that a lot of people feel the boy is a, is a bit of a brat. I mean, in the movie, he gets in trouble with his school because of the weapons he has. <laughs> And the fact that of how he's handling that he doesn't have a father, but at, at the same time, you gotta wonder how you would act as a boy if you had no father because your father died before you were born. And that's one of the things that this movie is about. This movie is a metaphor for dealing with the depression of of the, of the man that you love being out of your life, and that is done very well in from the perspective of Amelia. I like the fact that you don't see the Babadook a lot in the movie, but you get the sense that he's out there, and that really is done very well. The, the tone, the atmosphere, I like the fact that it engages you to use your imagination of what the Babadook may look like, and even though you do get to see it a lot of times, and there are times in the movie where you see Amelia watching television and the scene she watches on television that really does a good job of setting the atmosphere of the movie as well. And it's such a good film. Oh wow, if I saw this last year it would have definitely gone on my best list. I know I haven't uh, put those videos out yet. I'm going to. But this is a really good movie. Definitely check this movie out. I'm going to give this movie an A. The reason why I'm not giving this an A plus, though, is there are a couple times where, where the kid's not totally likable, and a couple things kind of took me out of the movie. They have this staircase with a circular mirror on the wall, and that's like, 
that was that's kind of like pulled out right out of the ring. <laughs> I don't try to fault that against the movie too much, but aside from that, this is such an excellent art film. Definitely check this movie out.